How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm going to talk about the dangers of variable rate mortgages. Now, a friend of mine went to the bank to ask for a pre-approval letter and the loan officer was actually pushing an adjustable rate mortgage pretty hard. One of those 5-1-1 where you have five years of fixed rate and then the rest of that is adjustable rate. Whenever someone tries to sell you really hard on a particular product, you gotta wonder what the motives are. And you gotta step back and go, whoa, what's, what's going on? Why are you trying to sell me on this particular one? Uh, because you know you can easily look over all the other options. In this case, the variable rate, you can go, oh yeah, that sounds good. You know, They might try to convince you. And in this case, it's not so good. In particular, I've never been a loan officer myself, but I'm pretty sure due to their hard selling, you can kind of assume that they're probably getting a bigger commission on any kind of complex loans. Whenever they sell an interest rate that's higher or if it's more complex, then they get a higher fee. So when they get a higher fee, at the end of the month, they're gonna get a higher paycheck. So the conflict of interest is a little bit off there. So you gotta do your own shopping and be aware of what you're buying into. The thing that got me making this video is that I personally got a bit riled up knowing that someone tried to sell someone I know a defective product or a product that was kind of predatory. So let me just explain uh, what's wrong with the variable rate at this particular moment in time. It's 2017 right now and your typical mortgage rates are as follows. 30 year fixed rate is around 4% right now, 15 year fixed rate is 3% and if you get a 5 year fixed rate and then after that it adjusts which is called an ARM adjustable rate mortgage it's also about 3% so instead of getting a 30 year fix at 4% you can go hey I can reduce my interest rate a bit and then you can afford a little bit more home uh, and get you know pay a little bit cheaper for the 5 years coming and then you can get a 5-1 ARM but then you don't want to get yourself trapped into a variable rate because right now is the lowest rate it's ever going to be basically. And from here on up, it's going to slowly increase. For this ARM mortgage, you may have three year, five year, seven year or whatever. Generally, the lower num the number of years, the lower initial rate you're going to get. But for this five year fixed rate, it's going to be low at first and then you're going to enter into this adjustable rate uh, mortgage portion of it. And by various projections I can find on the internet, roughly by 2020 or in about three years, you're gonna see about something like a 5.25%. So instead of paying 3%, all of a sudden it's going to increase to 5.25, and then you're going to your mortgage payments are going to increase. And if you cannot pay for that, there is gonna be trouble. Now let's look at an example of exactly how much it'll increase. For my favorite example of a 250k loan, if you're at 3%, you're gonna currently pay only $1,502 and you can go, oh look, that's really low. But then as the interest rate increase and it's projected to increase in the future, and you can see after five years, if you just jump into this 5.25% APR, um, you're just gonna jump all the way to 1790. That's quite a bit more per month, 290 per month. And if if you're just barely making this payment, imagine how hard it is to, you know, trying to squeeze $290 out more. And in the future, I'm not saying that it's gonna go to 8%, but um, let's say 10 years, 20 years later, maybe it could, I, I really don't know. But if it does, it's gonna increase significantly if you're going into this adjustable rate portion, about $780 more that's that's quite a bit and if you're marginal here you're not going to be very happy here the loan officer might try to convince you that maybe you should go with an adjustable rate because it's lower interest right now you'll have a lower payment but there are dangers lurking beneath they might try to say oh you know most people they only stay at a house for like five to seven years and then they move on to somewhere else so therefore you would sell therefore you would never enter into the adjustable rate mortgage part here are some things that could keep you from refinancing your adjustable rate mortgage. Number one, and it's very uncertain for these things because you could lose your job, okay? The economy could not do well. You know, there could be mass layoffs and it happens in cycles and you cannot predict this if it's gonna happen within five years or not. And if you lose your job, you cannot refi. And let's say you lose your job, you have to stay in your home, right? And you have to keep on paying mortgage payment. You don't have a job, you can't pay for it. And yet it also increases um, in the payments that that's like a nightmare you could have a lower income for one reason or another maybe you're on commission 
and commissions dry up or something and then they see that that your commission went down then you also cannot refi into a fixed rate for some reason or not if your home is underwater which means you bought the home let's say you bought it at two hundred fifty thousand dollars um and then the market isn't doing so well people sell their homes uh, comparable homes near yours for less and less okay it, it happens it could dip a little bit and all of a sudden the, the homes around there is going for 200k no nope, right there you can't refinance because you're underwater so therefore you're stuck with whatever uh, mortgage you have and it's increasing okay then you can't you can't do anything about it it's it's stuck and you're in an agreement for the variable rate your credit score could be too low from various reasons maybe uh, there's a medical reason right you get a lot of debt for some reason and then you're also stuck and if you cannot pay you're gonna get kicked out of the home it's gonna be foreclosed upon these are the dangers and they're very apparent dangers and given current circumstances with elevated home prices it's definitely definitely better to go fixed rate and if you cannot afford to go fixed rate which is just a tiny little bit more okay then you should really consider uh, not buying a home as expensive. So what good is an adjustable rate interest? Well, for one, if you're really close to paying off your mortgage, you might want to go with an adjustable rate. You can find, refinance into it, you get a little lower interest rate, and then let's say it's a five year, right? And then you, you think you can pay it off within three or four, then you might want to do that because then you can get in at a lower rate. If you get an arm mortgage and think that you're gonna adjust to a different one, I hope I shed some light on the dangers of doing so. So that's it for this caution. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if there are other reasons that you want to get an arm mortgage and don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.